Good morning, thanks for joining us today. Kids, I wanna be perfectly honest with you. I'm a little confused this morning. I read our Bible verses for this week, which you just heard a moment ago, and I'm kind of struggling to understand one. So I'm hoping that if I talk through this with you, maybe we can figure it out together. So listen to the verse again. That you may understand how wide, how long, how high, and how deep God's love really is. May you experience it, though it is so great you never fully will understand it. This verse is talking about how great God's love is, like how massive it is. And so I thought about all the great things in my life that I like to measure. And first of all, I thought of chocolate chip cookies because I love warm chocolate chip cookies. And I thought, well, when I make them, I need to measure things. So I thought, well, surely I should be able to measure God's love using this cup. Not so much. So then I thought about other things that I measure that I think are great. And I thought about, well, I have four kids and I like to measure how they grow. So I thought, well, if I extend this all the way up as high as it goes, I should be able to figure out how high God's love is going to go. That didn't work either. The third thing I thought of was my watch. I wear a watch every day. I like to know how long until my next activity. I wear it when I go running so I know how long I've been running. And I thought, well, if I look at it, maybe I'll figure out how long God's love is going to last. That didn't work either. And then somebody said, think of something huge, giant, massive that you think is great. So I thought of the Grand Canyon, which is pretty great. It's pretty massive. It's been there a long time. It's really big. It's deep. It's wide. But it still doesn't measure up to God's love. So I thought about this again, and I thought, you know, I'm going to read the verse again that you may understand how wide, how long, how high, and how deep God's love really is. May you experience it, though it is so great you will never fully understand it. I don't need to understand it. I don't need to fully understand how big God's love is for me. I just need to feel it. I need to experience it. And my prayer for you this week is that you also feel that love. You know that love. It is real. You experience it and that we may all share it. Please hold your hands and pray with me. Amazing God, thank you for today. Thank you for the gift of this new day. And I thank you that as we are going through all of the things that we are going through right now, we get to experience the wild love that you have for us. In your name we pray. Amen.